Welcome. Let's discuss the leading coefficient test. We're going to start by defining what is a polynomial. A polynomial, it is a function that is composed of the summations and the subtractions between exponents and coefficients. And every single polynomial will always be continuous. There is no holes and there is no gaps. Let's take a look at some examples. So here we are given four polynomials. Let's concentrate on the first example here. When we have either an addition or a subtraction, we are separating terms. So this polynomial will have one, two, three, and four terms. And we can also say that this polynomial is written in standard form. Because if we take a look at the terms from left to right, the exponents decrease in value. We start with the 4, then with the 3, then with the 2. There is no exponent of 1, and then we got an exponent of 0. In other words, we just have a coefficient. And what we're going to pay attention to is the leading coefficient term, or the term that has the highest exponent, which in this case, it's 4. But in this term, notice that we have a degree of 4, which is an even number. And the leading coefficient, it is 3, which is positive. If we were to graph this polynomial, this is how it would have looked like. Now let's analyze the next polynomial. Let's just concentrate on the leading term. The degree of this polynomial, it's also of degree 4, which is an even number. And now the leading coefficient, it's of negative 3, which is of a negative value. If we were to graph this polynomial, this is how it would have looked like. Let's take a look at the next example. Let's just concentrate on the leading term. Notice that now the degree is 2, which is an even number. And the leading coefficient, now it's of a value of 2, which is positive. Now let's graph this function. And now we concentrate on the last polynomial, the leading coefficient term, we have it right here. Notice that the degree, it's of a value of 2, which is even. And the leading coefficient, it is of a value of negative 2, which is negative. Now let's graph this function. One thing that we can notice is that within this function, the end behaviors are always either both facing up or both facing down. Notice that here, both of them are facing up. And notice that here, both of them are facing down. And this will always occur when your degree is of an even number, regardless of what number that is. If the degree is even, then the end behaviors are always either both of them facing up or both of them facing down. Well, what determines if it's facing up or facing down? And that is determined by the sign of the leading coefficient. Because notice that where our leading coefficient was of a positive value, our end behaviors were always facing up. And if the sign of the leading coefficient was negative, our end behaviors were both facing down. And now we can generalize the case. For any polynomial of an even degree, if my leading coefficient is of a positive sign, then we will always be facing up. And if it's negative, we will be facing down. Let's take a look at some different examples. So let's try to analyze this polynomial set the same way as we did before. Let's just concentrate on the leading term for each polynomial. And within our first polynomial, the degree is of a value of 5, which is odd now. And the leading coefficient, it's of a value of 2, which is positive. Now let's graph this function. Let's look at the next polynomial. Let's take a look at the degree, which is 5, which is odd. And the leading coefficient is negative 2, which is negative. Now let's graph this function. Let's move on to the next polynomial. Degree is 3, which is odd. And the leading coefficient is 2, which is positive. Let's graph this function. And in the next polynomial, the degree is 3, which is odd. And the leading coefficient it's of a value of negative 2, 
which is negative. Let's graph this function. Notice that now the end behaviors are not the same as we had before. They're not both facing up or both facing down. They always go in a different direction. In our first polynomial, as we go to the left, we are decreasing. And as we go to the right, we are increasing. In our second polynomial, as we go to the left, we are increasing. And as we go to the right, we are decreasing. On the next polynomial, as we go to the left, we are decreasing. And as we go to the right, we are increasing. And in the last polynomial, as we move to the left, we are increasing. And as we move to the right, we are decreasing. Well, one thing to notice is that the degree of every single polynomial here was always of an odd value. And when we have the situation, the end behaviors will never face the same direction. One of them is going to go up and another one's going to go down. But now what determines the direction? The sign of the leading coefficient. Because notice that in those examples where the leading coefficient was of a positive value, as we were moving to the left, we were decreasing. And as we were moving to the right, we were increasing. As we were moving to the left, we were decreasing. And as we were moving to the right, we were increasing. It does not matter the value of the leading coefficient. If it's of a positive number, then we always have this end behavior. Down to the left, up to the right. And if the leading coefficient had a negative sign, then we have the opposite. As we were moving to the left, we we're going up. And as we were moving to the right, we go down. As we move to the left, we go up. And as we move to the right, we go down. It does not matter the value of the leading coefficient. If it's of a negative number, then we always have this end behavior up to the left, down to the right. And what we have observed here is what we refer to as the leading coefficient test. Just by looking at the leading coefficient in any polynomial, we can always determine the end behaviors of that polynomial. Now let's summarize what we have said. We have said that for any polynomial, if the leading term has an exponent of an even degree, then the end behaviors will always face the same direction. And if the leading coefficient is of a positive number, going on the left, we will be facing up, and going to the right, we will be facing up as well. And notice that we're not saying anything about what's going on between those behaviors. All I know is that as I move farther to the left, I go up. And as if I move farther to the right, I go up as well. We're not saying anything about the inside of this polynomial. We're just stating something about the end behaviors. And if my leading coefficient had a negative value, then going to the left, I'm going to be facing down. And going to the right, I'm going to be facing down as well. Notice that I'm not saying anything about what's going on within the polynomial. All I'm saying is, as I move farther to the left, I'm going down. And if I move farther to the right, I'm going down as well. And if we have any polynomial where the leading term has an exponent of an odd degree, then we do not have the same direction. If my leading coefficient will be of a positive number, then going to the left, I will be going down. And going to the right, I will be going up. We're not saying anything about the polynomial or what's going on within it. But all I know is that if I move to the left, I'm going down. And if I move to the right, I'm going up. And lastly, if my leading coefficient will be of a negative number, then it's the opposite of what we have here. As I'm moving to the left, I'm going up. And if I'm moving to the right, I am going down. We're not saying anything about the polynomial here. All we're saying is that we know what's going to happen as I move infinitely to the left and as I move infinitely to the right. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 